Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rudy from Instant Airsoft. Today we're going to cover something um, a little different. We're going to cover the Thunder Beast Sound Flash Grenades. Unfortunately, I don't have the cylinder canister, uh, the shell, so I'm only going to be able to show you the pineapple, but you know, there will be an image that will pop up right now, and it'll be obviously uh, the cylinder, which is, in my experience, a much better grenade shell. Okay, so in depth into this product, if you buy a, if you're looking into getting a Thunderbee, um, the sound flash grenades, what you're going to want to first look at is the beginner package which Airsoft GI offers, or if you have a uh, code red Airsoft part as your local field, they sell them there too for 20, 20 bucks, I think, you know, maybe a little more, uh, not sure the exact price. But you know, obviously I'll throw a link down in the description of this video. Okay, so basically what it comes with is your spoon and the firing, you know, the, the pin, the part that punctures the CO2, and it comes with everything you need for making a Thunderbeat go off, which is great. So it comes with your spoon, you know, your main mechanism, your CO2 holder. It comes with three shells, it comes with two pineapples, one cylinder. It doesn't come with CO2, I don't believe, but they're really cheap. They're like four cents a canister, 50 cents a thing. Yeah, they're really cheap. Uh, two firing pins and there's two seals in here. And what the seals do, I will show you in a second just in case any of you guys are actually having problems with, with these, is you want to unscrew this little black piece right here. Once you do that, if you pull up the actual pin that fires it, that little white seal is right there. Uh, that's basically to replace those. Put it back on. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first got these, I was scared shitless. I was actually going to malfunction one and it would blow up in my hand or, you know, little things like that. But they're really reliable grenades. You can treat them rough. You can treat them how you want them. A lot of people say these grenades are crap, but they do what they need to do. And you know what it is? It's to kill people. Uh, works great in CQB, works great in field play, whatever your choice. So uh, I'm going to teach you how to assemble them now. Basically, you want to take your main mechanism and your CO2 canister part. You want to stick it right in that little black piece and screw it on. Be careful when you're screwing it on. Don't try and strip your threads. Uh, and you're going to want to tighten this down pretty, pretty good. Because if it's like leaking, it's not going to be good. So you're going to get it on there, you know, secure tight to where you can twist it back, but it can't do anything else. Unscrew the very bottom, the very bottom piece. Take your CO2 cartridge. Uh, before you do this, I would like to warn you to do this step once first. I'm kind of jumping ahead. What you want to do is pull the actual pin, or the actual firing mechanism back with your thumb. Stick this pin right through, through this little slot. Take your spoon, hold it down, pull the pin out, and stick it in the other slot which is really for your firing. Okay. Then you want to take your CO2, drop it in your cartridge, take your, your end, and you're going to have to push it down. You're going to actually have to put some pressure just to get it onto those um, threads. Make sure everything's secure, tighten down. Uh, then from here, you take your shell, put your shell on, and get, make sure at some points, it's going to feel like your shell can't go on anymore, but I'm pretty sure it can. If you can see threads, then it can still go on. And that's how you set up a Thunderbee sound flash grenade. So you want to push your spoon in, pull your pin, let it flap, throw it. This is Thunderbee with powder inside.
See? More like a flashbang. 